All right, so I'm going to try and restore the hinges. I'm just soaking them in some. Fuck, I almost dropped it. <laughs> uh, lacquer thinner. Swirling it around every now and again, and I'm going to let that soak in. And I've been researching online. I'm going to try and go with maybe some GM hinges or something like that. See if any fit. All right, so let these guys soak. I'm just gonna clean them off as good as I can. Lacquer thinner. I was curious about how it does to the undercoating. It does a good job, so that's good. All right, well here are the hinges, kind of cleaned up. I'm gonna try and press these pins out. Sorry, I gotta learn to do better camera work. The the knurled side rotates with the part that attaches to the door. The non-knurled side does not. So I assume I'm going to dremel, dremel this guy off and press it out somehow. Uh, I noticed they're slightly different. This one has a ridge through the middle. This one doesn't. Has a, doesn't have the recess. I checked the door on the driver's side. They're all like this guy. But, I don't know if you can see it. This guy has powder blue on it. You can see some in there. Whereas this one is only white. So I suspect this is the original. But I don't know why I'd have one original and three non-original. Well, sh shit, who knows. Anyway, so I'm going to try and get this pin out and see what happens. Okay, so uh, before I go and try and source some pins, I'm going to measure the relevant dimensions. So I don't know, I figured I'd measure pin width at the top, the thickness of the flange, the thickness inside, overall thickness, and uh, so on. I mean, it might be overkill as far as some of the dimensions, but I'm going to try and go find some, uh, like some GM pins or something down at uh, AutoZone or online, and uh, this might help. Alright, I uh, switched to the Super Dremel. The other guy wasn't cutting the mustard. All right, so I've dremeled the top off, and I'm going to try and drill out the secured end of the uh, pin. All right, now I'm going to. Uh, Dremel out the inside of it and try and take some material out. Alright, so I drilled out the. There you go, you can kind of see it. I drilled out the top captive part, and this is all that was left. It was as if and this is all like you can't really see it down in the light. But it's all I don't know if you can see it moving. You see it moving there? That's all just pieces of pin. The whole pin the whole the whole pin was falling apart. Lucky the whole thing didn't fall off. I just got to figure out how to do the other side. There's pieces of hinge falling out. Hinge pin. There's one piece left. There it goes. Thing is sh shot. Alright, so I was able to get it apart. This is the this is the top, and 
this is the bottom. You can see how shitty that is in there. I mean, that's all rusted up. So, I don't know. At this point, I think I'm going to have to buy hinges, but I'm just kind of curious if I can drill these out just for my own curiosity. So I just took a tungsten carbide bit, drilled in, drilled down with a what was that quarter inch drill, and ground the rest out with my Dremel around the perimeter. So, all right. So I've gone and drilled out this pin. It's basically one solid pin that sticks up. One side has the teeth that engage that side. You can see, I don't know if you can see the teeth in. The other side is free, free to rotate. But I spent two hours drawing this out and kind of figuring out how to do it. I'm sure I could do it faster next one, but um, part of the, the bushings and pins that I think might fit for a McMaster car. But I don't know. But for 25 bucks a hand, it's probably better to just order them. But I'm going to uh, re-pin them kind of as an academic exercise once they show up. But uh, I'll probably go ahead and do the hinges. I mean, I definitely will, but just put the hinges on unless they're total shit from Moss Motors. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try and drill these out. Right, so I drilled that out to 3 eighths. And just press the uh, bushings in. So, this guy's at, like I said, 1.52 minimum. I've ground this down on the grinder to 1.42. Each of these is 0.5, so that's 1.52. So I'm going to see if I can get it to. Uh, and, uh, I just had to take a small file and take the edge off and kind of put a slight chamfer on that. Okay, it's so it's going through. Just gonna persuade it in there, tap it in, and we'll see what happens. Okay, next, grind down some washers on your bench grinder, five sixteenths. Hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down. they're about like that because you have to get them on right there okay, so looking at the rebuilt hinge and let's see it's pretty sturdy there's absolutely no playing it. I've got no lateral play. And the bolt is just retaining these two washers that are cut in this. And this looks a little that nylock washer is a little bit offset. But the bushings are flush between the two parts of this hinge. So when you compare, I mean the hinge, this part rotates, does not rotate, and this part is press fit in with the knurled side. So, in this hinge, it's held between these two pieces here, so it's actually almost as sturdy as the other one, I would say, except for the bronze pushing there. I mean, the weight is still held by the pin on this, just like here. So I'd say it's doable if anybody wanted to try it. I went and had already perched the hinges, I was going to throw these away and just kind of did it as a science project. I'm sure someone could refine it slightly.